Mr. Clark, have common maths today. We're going to look at an uh, interesting advanced higher maths question uh, which you, on the complex numbers about De Moivre's theorem. This was sent to me from a subscriber, so thanks very much for this. Apparently, it was in one of his prelims. So let's look at it. It's quite a difficult one, this one. It says, let z equal cos theta plus i sine theta. We we'll have to show that 1 over z is cos theta minus i sine theta. Then we we'll have to use De Moivre's theorem to show that z to the n minus 1 over z to the n is 2i sine n theta. Then we we'll have to use the binomial theorem to expand z minus 1 over z to the 5. Then we we'll have to express z over 1 minus z to the 5 in terms of sine theta. And then we we'll have to express sine to, sin to the 5 theta in the form k sine 5 theta of l sine 3 theta and m sine theta. Seems like quite a long question, but hopefully it will all follow through. Let's start off with the first one. So for part A, we've got z equal cos theta plus i sine theta. Show that 1 over z is cos theta minus i sine theta. Well, 1 over z is simply z to the minus 1. So we can write that as, that as cos theta plus i sine theta. And then by the Moivre's theorem, that would be to the power of minus 1. So expanding that by De Moivre's theorem, the De Moivre say, says that cos theta plus i sine theta to the n is cos n theta plus i sine n theta. So I can then say that that is cos minus theta plus i sine minus theta. And then it just drops out from there because the cos of minus theta is equal to the cos of theta. So I can just write cos theta. And the sine of minus theta is equal to the minus sine of theta, so minus i sine theta. And that's all you needed for the first part. Okay, part b. Using the Moivre's theorem, show that z to the n minus 1 over z to the n is 2i minus 2i sine theta. So we've got z to the n. Remember, z is cos theta plus i sine theta, so z to the n is cos n theta plus i sine n theta and z to the 1 over z to the n is z to the minus n and we've just shown in part a that z to the minus 1 is cos theta minus i sine theta so z to the minus n is cos n theta minus i sine n theta so we can then say that z to the n minus 1 over z to the n is equal to cos n theta plus i sine n theta. Uh, take away cos theta n theta. And watch your minuses here. Minus, minus, so plus i sine n theta. You can clearly see that the cos n theta is cancel. You've got two lots of i sine n theta, so you've got two i sine n theta as required. Part C1 expands z minus 1 over z to the 5 using binomial theorem. So I'm going to set up my Pascal's triangle just to help me do my binomial theorem. I always do that. 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So it's this line I want. So using binomial theorem, that equals z to the power of 5 plus 5 z to the power of 4 minus 1 over z to the power of 1. Now oh, we're going to do this on another line now. Plus 10 z cubed minus 1 over z squared plus 10 z squared minus 1 over z cubed Let's keep that separate. Plus 5z times minus 1 over z to the 4 plus minus 1 over z to the 5. Tidying that up, we get z to the 5 for the first term. z to the 4 over z is z cubed, so minus 5z cubed. And then we've got 10z cubed over z squared, so that's 10z, and then it's minus minus a plus, so plus 10z. And then the next term, we've got z squared over z cubed, so 1 over z, so minus 10 over z. 
and the next term we've got z and then z cubed in the bottom z4 in the bottom so it's z cubed so plus because of a minus to the power so plus 5 over z cubed and the last term minus 1 over z to the 5 Part 2 says express z minus 1 over z to the 5 in terms of sine theta only. Notice if we go back to here, we've done z to the n minus 1 over z to the n is 2i sine n theta. So if we can gather terms that are similar to that, you can see that we've got a z5 minus 1 over z5, z cubed minus 5 over z cubed, and so on. We can collect those terms together. So we can see that this equals z to the 5 minus 1 over z to the 5. In brackets that's this 2 and then minus 5 times z cubed minus 1 over z cubed because the 5 is a common factor and then the z terms plus 10 z minus 1 over z so then using our previous result which was 2i sine n theta that's going to be 2i sine 5 theta minus 5 times 2i sine 3 theta plus 10 times 2i sine theta. That equals 2i sine 5 theta minus 10i sine 3 theta plus 20i sine theta. And we're done there. Part D, hence express sine 5 theta in the form k sine 5 theta plus l sine 3 theta plus m sine theta, stating the values of k, l and m. Well, we've done all this work, so if we go back to part B, if I work out 2i sine theta to the power 5, that will be the same as z minus 1 over z to the power 5, because z to the n, n is 1. And we know that z minus 1 over z to the 5 is equal to this result, so we're going to be equal. So that's going to be my kind of solution. So let's just write that out. If I work out 2i sine theta to the power of 5, that will be the same as from part b, z minus 1 over z to the power of 5. So look at my left-hand side. 2 twos are 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 6 times 2 is 32. I get 32i sine to the power of 5 theta. But I already know that z minus 1 over z to the 5 is the previous result, which is 2i sine 5 theta minus 10i sine 3 theta plus 20i sine theta. So I can then just say that sine to the power of 5 theta is all of this divided by 32i. So 2i sine 5 theta minus 10i sine 3 theta plus 20i sine theta divided by 32i. Making that set as separate fractions. The first one, all the i's will cancel as you should be able to see. 2 into 32 is a 16th, so that's 1 16th sine 5i. 10 out of 32 is 5 out of 16, so minus 5 sixteenths sine 3 theta. 20 out of 32, that's 10 out of 16, that's 5 out of 8, plus 5 eighths of si uh, sine theta. So k equals a sixteenth, l equals minus 5 sixteenths, and m equals 5 eighths. This has been Clare Maths. Today we've went through an advanced higher maths question on the Moivers theorem. Hope you found this useful and helpful for your upcoming 2023 advanced higher maths exam. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.